How's it going? Hello Hi. and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage, Marriage Mornings. I am your host, Melanie Studley. Good morning. My name is Seth Studley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and today is day 75. That's right. Three quarters of a hundred. Of our Marriage Morning Challenge. <laughs> The title today is Do You Have a Marriage Mindset? And today's episode is brought to you by the mm -hmm. Ultimate Intimacy app. Please check out the app at ultimateintimacy.com. It's amazing. That's right. And, if, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. If you're new here, welcome. We have a whole archive of episodes that are long format about all sorts of topics like divorce, expectations, miscarriage, family of origin, all of that. Mm -hmm. So go check those out if you're new. They're amazing and they're different than Marriage Mornings. That's right. So join us every single day. We do a 10 minute Facebook Live every single day, which is basically free marriage therapy. Yep. You are talking to a therapist and it's basically real couples therapy right now to give you tips and insights and encouragement to make your marriage better. Yes, and it's only 10 minutes a day, super easy and free. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, lastly, do these things with your partner. Do the prayer, the past gratitude, the future hope, and talk about these questions That's together. Right. It's going to be so helpful. Anyway. All right, we do four things every time. We pray, we share a past gratitude, we share a future hope, and then an overall goal. So, you want to pray? Uh, yeah. Sure. All right, go for it. Dear Lord, thank you for all the blessings that you've given us. Help us just like rock today and have an amazing fun day and have an awesome marriage mindset. In your name we pray. Amen. Help us rock, Lord. Okay, no, thank okay, you. Okay, okay, sorry. Past gratitude. Yes. I am thankful that you, my friend, uh -huh. dream with me. Ooh. Um, I'm going to share a little tip here. I write my gratitude on my hand because I can never remember it. Mm -hmm. I want you to do that with your partner. Write something That's on your idea. hand that you're thankful then it's for. It's on there all day. I am thankful that you wrote on the Sharpie yesterday. I wrote on a Sharpie? If, on the fridge. If you think of something good, share it, right? That's mm -hmm. something that we've talked about before. And if we think of something good, a positive thought, a, a good attribute towards your spouse or towards the kids or whatever, if you think it, say it mm -hmm. because I, you're putting that out there yeah. and it makes everything better. I struggle so with that. You that. You're welcome. I know you do and you're making progress on it. So thank I you. I learned that from Craig Groeschel. All right. Um, future hope. I hope today is good. My goal today is mm -hmm. to get a ton of work done, have a great interview. We got an interview lined up today. I'm yes. super excited. And um, to talk to Melissa. Keep trying to talk to Melissa and can never get there. Yeah. Anyway. Same thing. I have clients to see. I have work to do. And I am super excited. Should we say who we're interviewing yet? Sure. Kim Coleman of Dave Ramsey's show. It's going to be super He's like a real fun. deal radio guy, so he's yeah. got an awesome radio yeah. voice. I'm it's awesome. He's that. going to give some good insight, and we're bringing that to you in a couple of weeks probably. So, yes. Yes. Excited for that. So, do you have a marriage mindset? What is that question? What does it mean, and why are we talking about it? Mm -hmm. So, a marriage mindset is different than a single mindset, or a dating mindset, or right. a whatever mindset. And I wanted to have a conversation about it, because if you are, if you have the mindset of I want to have a good marriage, I want to have fun, I want to have a family, I want to make money, I want to travel, whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. the mindset that you kind of get into is how you will behave and how you will act in the world. Mm -hmm. And so if you're married, do you actually have a marriage mindset? Or are you going yeah. into things thinking, mm -hmm. um, I can act the same way I did when I was dating right. and everything will work out great. Mm -hmm. Newsflash, it won't. That's right. So think about it this way. If you have a an exercise goal, you have an exercise or diet or workout mindset, right? You don't go, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm not gonna lose 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do this, mm -hmm. right? You don't think that way around getting uh, your body right mm -hmm. or whatever. But we think that way around marriage. Oh, well, it's up to us and mm -hmm. she'll do it or he'll do it or whatever. No, if you think of it, this is the kind of marriage I want that I'm gonna have, this is what I'm deciding. Just like going to the gym, you don't wake up early and go, I'm going to go to the gym, but I might work out. Uh -huh. I might lose weight today. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No, you don't do that. It's yeah. much more forward thinking and goal oriented. Than yeah. That. And it's like you have to know what you want uh, and then know how to what you have to do to get what you want. That's mm -hmm. the thing. I think people come into marriage thinking that for some reason the marriage, whatever that means, right. itself is going to produce the things that they wanted. Like, oh, now I have a ring and my last name is different. Mm -hmm. That means... I will be, you know, a loving wife and mm -hmm. a kind spouse. And, or no, happy or fulfilled no. or content. Yeah, those things take your work and your work comes from the mindset that you have around that. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just thinking about like, mar for, I wrote down some points and I want to talk about them. Go for so it. So I, I think what is a marriage mindset? It's knowing that marriage is work. It's not bad work. It's not hard work. It's good work. Mm -hmm. And not being wimpy about that or passive about it, but being ready to step in with good work. And your mm -hmm. mindset about it is going to help that work out. Being balanced and not only mm -hmm. living for the happy moments, right? right? 
It's like having a career. Like, oh, I want to be. Uh, uh, <laughs> it uh, is a career. I want to be an archaeologist. So you I work. I want to be an archaeologist. I know, that's why I said that. <laughs> so you work towards it. You you know that it's going to be boring paperwork, and then other times it's going to be in the field looking for dinosaur bones mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But that's who you are. And so if we think about it that way, okay, I want to have a good marriage. Oh, that takes takes work. It's my profession. It's going to be. Yeah, hey Leslie, it's go. It's it's your profession, and if we think about it that way and treat it that way, like you hold it and you protect it mm-hmm. and you work for it, and and you pursue it. I mean, I think oh, that's, that's the thing that's one. so you weird. And so in my notes, still, it's like I have be brave when things are hard. Like if you're trying to be an archaeologist and you don't find a dinosaur bone on your first dig, do you give up? No, no, you don't. You are brave when things are hard, and. Uh, same thing we have being giving and loving, not being selfish and mean. That's mm-hmm. a marriage mindset that's hugely important. We see it all often with our listenership where people are saying, oh, well, my, my partner does this, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you can't, that's not a marriage mindset. That's mm-hmm. a selfish baby. I need a bottle and a pacifier mindset. That's mm. a, where's my diaper and my rugrats? I want to take a nap <laughs> mindset. <laughs> I was watching a thing about Rugrats the other day. Um, (laughs) Another marriage mindset is being honest and open and not hiding or lying. Right. That is not the mindset that gets you a happy marriage. Mm -hmm. If that's what you're wanting. If you don't want a happy marriage, go ahead and lie all you want. Right. Um, It also means setting aside time to invest in your marriage. And that might be um, like going on date nights or making it a point to listen to Marriage Morning. I know. It's actually on there. Marriage Mm -hmm. Mornings. It might be a financial investment like going to, I don't even know, it could be buying a work, uh, what am I trying to say? Doing like a day a video class, cor- like yeah, a financial piece. Financial piece, university, that costs money, but it's absolutely worth it. Mm-hmm. Um, going on a retreat, I don't know. Like these are things that, those are, those are marriage mindset <laughs> type things. Right. They impact the longevity of your relationship and how you think and see your relationship. And I've, um, who is it? Tony Robbins talks about if someone is, is handed something, they don't appreciate it nearly as much as if they worked for it. Right. I'll tell you what. I appreciate our marriage so much because I had to work That's right. for it to be good. It, it We screwed it up royally in right. the beginning. And so now when I look at our relationship and we do marriage mornings every day and I'm trying to think of something to be thankful for, it is a joy. <clears throat> but it took work, right? And yeah. it was a mindset. It is a mindset. And we were just talking about it last night, how we really like to... Marriage mornings is a part of our routine, although we're the ones that do it. It is just as much of a routine um, for us as mm-hmm. we hope it is for you and you kind of incorporate that into the start of your day because we, we we think about a topic we have to think about literally what did Melanie do yesterday that I don't we want to take to for think granted about it, we, I say. yeah sorry we we get to think about it and it's fun it's creative and it's it's um it's very life-giving that's for sure it's like yeah I guess that's it, it starts off point. our day on a totally positive foot like we yeah. are encouraging one another we're we're talking about what our goals are individually and as a couple mm-hmm. and it changes our mindset right. literally every morning so like i said today is day 75 and i can see a palpable difference in our rebound and recovery after something crappy oh, happens for sure. you know what i'm saying it's like a minutes turnaround where it, before it was like days yeah and then like things were weird and stuff still gets weird i mean i don't know it just it just probably 2 days ago something happened i don't know but we apologize to one another, we listen to one another, mm-hmm. and like I said, the biggest thing is we recover mm-hmm. faster. Like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, blah, blah, all this stuff, and then we're just normal. Yeah, right? our mindset for what these mm-hmm. things mean to us, like, yes, you, we will argue, we will disagree, doy. Let's not, like, get upset about it. Doy sauce? <laughs> Let's not I'm get so upset. <laughs> That's great. Let's <laughs> not get upset about it and cry all day. It's going to happen. Right. Have a marriage mindset and realize like that's not the end of the world that mm-hmm. we disagreed on something. We mm-hmm. don't need to fight. We don't need to right. like yell at each other and call each other names. And that took a long minute and there's still stuff that we have to work on. Like, yes. I eat okay. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But anyway, we pray, we hope that this is helpful to you guys. We hope that you can incorporate it into your morning. If you don't have if you don't do it as a couple, that's okay. Like I said, grow Go to ultimateintimacyapp.com. Go to ultimateintimacy.com. They brought the show to you. Check them out on socials at mm-hmm. Ultimate Intimacy. Thank you yes. for being with us. Please rate and review the podcast on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that really helps us out. And share, 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 share the show with your friends. And I didn't mean to cut Seth off, but he was rambling and we got I to ramble. Go. All right. Bye. We guys. love you. Have a great day. Have bye. A good one.